Welcome to this story. It was my birthday, a day that should be all about you, a day to feel special. I'm a 26-year-old man, and my girlfriend Sandra is 20. We decided to go to this popular nightclub in town, and we were having a great time, drinks flowing, music blasting, the works. Midnight rolls around, and I think it's time for the birthday kiss, but Sandra is nowhere to be found. I start to get worried. I mean, it's a crowded club, but she knows it's my birthday. She wouldn't just disappear on me, would she? Wrong. I start searching the place, pushing through the crowd, checking the bathrooms, the bar, everywhere, but nothing. Finally, I decide to check the private office of the club owner. I've met the guy a couple of times, he seems okay, so I figure maybe she's in there. I knock, no answer. I knock again, still nothing. So I open the door, and what do I find? Sandra on her knees doing something to the club owner that she's never done to me on my damn birthday. I stand there frozen, not even sure if what I'm seeing is real. She looks up, our eyes meet, and I just walk out. After catching Sandra red-handed, I was in a state of shock, disbelief, and anger. But instead of making a scene right there, I grabbed her arm and dragged her out of the office. I was furious, but it was my birthday, and I didn't want to ruin the night for everyone else. We went back to our friends, put on fake smiles, and tried to salvage what was left of the party. When the night was over, we went back to our apartment. I was ready for a confrontation, ready to hear whatever excuse she had. But as we started to talk, she just went to bed, saying she was too tired to discuss it. I was left sitting on the couch, my mind racing with a million thoughts. The next morning, she finally spoke. She said she had planned a big surprise for me, something expensive that she couldn't afford. So she made a deal with the club owner, a favor for a favor kind of thing. She said she was just about to seal the deal when I walked in and ruined everything. And now I'm feeling guilty. Guilty for yelling at her, for not giving her a chance to explain, for ruining the surprise she had planned. It's messed up, I know. I should be the one who's angry, who feels betrayed, but instead I'm sitting here questioning myself, wondering if I overreacted. Do I forgive her? Chalk it up to a misguided attempt to do something nice for me, or do I walk away from a relationship that may be too broken to fix? I honestly don't know what to do. Since that fateful night, Sandra has been incredible. It's like she's on a mission to prove her love and commitment to me. She's been attentive, caring, and genuinely remorseful about what happened. And a few days ago, she surprised me with a belated birthday present, a beautiful bracelet. Not just any bracelet, but one that I'd mentioned I wanted a while back. It was her way of making up for the surprise that never happened. I decided to forgive her, and she in turn forgave me for overreacting that night. We both realized that while what happened was far from ideal, it was a wake-up call for our relationship. We needed to communicate better trust each other more, and not let external factors dictate our actions. I won't lie, it hasn't been easy. There are moments of doubt, moments when the memory of that night creeps back in. But we work through it, one day at a time. We're both committed to making this work, to learning from our mistakes, and to building a stronger relationship. So this is where we are. It's not a perfect ending, but it's our ending, and for now, that's enough. In my opinion, a real man should give a woman who has stumbled a chance.